So as an introduction, introduction to the whole topic, I want to give an overview about the various concepts, how you could do time analysis in an embedded system. In my opinion, there are three fundamental concepts of timing analysis. First, a purely statistical analysis based on sampling certain objects within your software. Then, you could do some measurement, either on-chip or off-chip. Off-chip would be, for instance, maybe that you toggle a pin and measure timing with an oscilloscope. On-chip measurement can either be done by utilizing some dedicated hardware, such as a core performance counter, also using some generic counters. But in any case, this approach requires an instrumentation of the code, meaning dedicated software needs to be added to the actual software to be analyzed in order to control the measurement hardware. But at least, this approach yields exact and reliable results. The third approach is based on trace. And as this figure indicates, Trace-based timing analysis provides the maximum of information and thus also the maximum, maximum of analysis options. And it also includes all the analysis options offered by the other two classes, measurement and sampling. The unique thing about Trace is that it allows an exact reconstruction of sequences of various events over time. From this information, you can derive a complete set of timing metrics and you can analyze CPU load over time, analyze event chains and function call sequences. So basically, it provides you a full insight into the software execution. From measurement, you basically get exact timing information of things like functions, OS tasks, by measuring the time between entry and exit. From this, you can drive min, max, average metrics and calculate CPU utilization. But you cannot analyze, for instance, function core sequences or event chains. From sampling, you can only get statistical results, meaning distributions and utilizations. The results are basically only approximations of the, real, of the reality, because with, sam with sampling, there is no guarantee that really all irrelevant events have actually been captured, meaning the more data is sampled, the more accurate can be the result. The trace the, cl the classes trace and sampling are drawn in blue because these are the concepts which can be used with the iSystem Profiler. 